felling of the banyan tree by Dilip Chitter, my father told the tenants to leave, who lived on the houses surrounding our house on the hill. One by one the structures were demolished. Only our own house remained and the trees. Trees are sacred my grandmother used to say. Felling them is a crime but he massacred them all. The Shioga, the Outumber, the Neem were all cut down. But the huge banyan tree stood like a problem, whose roots lay deeper than all our lives. My father ordered it to be removed. The banyan tree was three times as tall as our house. Its trunk had a circumference of 50 feet. Its scraggy aerial roots fell to the ground. From 30 feet or more so first they cut the branches, sawing them off for seven days and the heap was huge. Insects and birds began to leave the tree, and then they came to its massive trunk. Fifty men with axes chopped and chopped. The great tree revealed its rings of two hundred years. We watched in terror and fascination the slaughter, as a raw mythology revealed to us its age. Soon afterwards we left Baroda for Bombay, where there are no trees except the one, which grows and seeds in one's dreams, its aerial roots, looking for the ground to strike. 